Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a Python project which is entitled as a machine learning model to predict a diagnosis of brain stroke, which is an IEEE 2023 conference paper. So before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So we all know that the human brain is an important organ for every human being because it is the main organ which controls the whole body. So if there is a problem in the brain, it affects the whole human system. So what is this brain stroke? So generally a stroke occurs in the brain uh, due to the lack of proper blood flow into a specific location of the brain. So if there is a poor blood flow, there may be a stroke. And there is other kind type of stroke also where uh, due to the bleeding in the uh, human brain, the brain stroke will also happen. So why I am saying this uh, type of brain stroke is like, there may be a question that why we need to go for this machine learning model. Instead, we can take a CT scan and use deep learning model to identify. But here we have two types of brain stroke. One is ischemic and other one is hemorrhagic. So this ischemic type is the type where the lack of blood flow is happening in the brain and the second type is hemorrhagic that the, due to the bleeding. So in the second type hemorrhagic if there is bleeding you can use CT scan method and you can identify the brain stroke. But here in the ischemic method uh, this is happening due to the lack of the blood flow. <coughs> Sorry. So, identifying the brain stroke earlier will surely happen to prevent the patient to overcome the brain stroke because the problem with the brain stroke is like it paralyzes the whole body and they cannot make any movements also for several months. So, an ISO, the an ischemic stroke if detected within three to four hours may be treated with a meditation so that they can break down the clot that is going to happen in the brain. So this is the importance of this project that we are now going to do. So here in the base paper, the authors have used machine learning model where they have concluded with the model called SG boost classifier. So this is the model that they have uh, listed as based then they got accuracy of 96.34 percentage. But we are not going to use the same as mentioned in the base paper. So now let us see about the proposed and what the enhancement that we are going to do. So here uh, we are going to implement using two different models that is uh, one is random forest classifier and other one is the bagging classifier. And from the both the models, so we have achieved a good accuracy in the random forest classifier, which is a train score of 100 percentage and test score of 99 percentage. So bagging classifier also gave a good accuracy, but when compared to the random forest, random forest is best. So here in the bagging classifier, we have uh, achieved a train score of 99 percentage and test score of 98 percentage. So in this project, we are going to implement two different models in the brain stroke. So before uh, uh, that, I'll show you the data set that we are going to use. So in the source code, uh, in the model folder, we have this brain stroke.csv file. So here you can see the uh, data set which contains around data around uh, uh, 4981 data set record which has the attributes called gender, age, hypertension, heart disease, married details, work type, residence type, average glucose level, BMI, smoking status and what is this result of the uh, detail that is stroke or a normal one. So this is the data set that we are going to train up both the models. So now let us see the uh, documentation part so here you can see the IEEE base paper title and or you can use our proposed title and stroke diagnosis prediction system using random forest classifier compared with bagging classifier so this is the IEEE abstract 
and uh, the, you can see our proposed abstract where we are going to use the two classification algorithms random forest classifier and bagging classifier and the accuracy scores also mentioned in the abstract and here you can see the data set that come that has the features of the patient attributes the details have been mentioned in the abstract part and uh, what is the advantages of using that everything is mentioned in the abstract part so here in the existing system so uh, we are taking this IEEE base paper as existing system so they have used uh, XG boost classifier so considering that the existing system has been uh, uh, proposed here and here you can see the disadvantages of the existing system and uh, you can see the proposed system where we are going to use two different algorithms random forest classifier and we are going to use the bagging classifier in the proposed system and those details are given here and the advantages of the proposed system here and here you can see the system architecture which contains about the input data set pre-processing feature selection random forest classifier and predicted result with the brain stroke and normal and the performance analysis and graph part you can see the system requirements and the hardware requirements of it and as mentioned we are going to use python the version of the python is 3.10.9 and the web framework is flask and the front end part with html CSS, and javascript this is the reference of the project so before execution of the project make sure that you have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned the requirements file with the exact version of the python of the library is installed in your system so now let us see the execution of the project so first copy go to the source code location copy the source code location go to your command prompt First, go to the source code location. So I have pasted my code in F drive. So I'll go to the F drive first. So now I am in F drive. So now type CD space and paste the location that we are copy and click enter. So now I am into the source code location. Now type Python app dot py and click enter. Now kindly wait for a few minutes. So now you can find this URL, just copy this URL, go to any of your browser and going to Google Chrome and paste the link that we have copied and now you can see the home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title, a machine learning model to build uh, diagnosis of the brain stroke. So now you can see this login menu here, just click this login menu, it will be navigated to the login page. So kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project. So just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and click the login button. So now you can see the login success message and click OK. So now it will be navigated to the next part that is the upload part where you need to upload the data set. So just select the choose file and go to the source code location and, and just select this upload.csv file and click upload button. Now kindly wait for a few seconds so it will be navigated to the preview part. So now you can see the preview part where you can see the data set that we have uploaded so just scroll down till the end of the page and you can find the complete data set has been loaded to the preview part so you can see the data set contains around 4980 data set records now you can click this uh, click to train or test button which is in the end of the page and kindly wait for a few seconds So now you can see the training finish message and click OK. So now it will be navigated to the important part of the project that is the prediction part. So now you need to enter the test cases to find the result of the patient whether it is a brain stroke or not. So let me enter with the case of uh, first case with a male uh, gender as male age as 68, hypertension as 1, uh, heart disease as 1, ever married yes, work type as private, residential type as urban or rural, this is a rural case and uh, average glucose level is 271.74 and BMI value is 31.1 and smoking status is smokes and here this is uh, this up to this this is the data set and here you can see the model so as I have told you earlier we have implemented two different models in it so you can show the result with both random forest classifier or the bagging classifier i'll show you with the both the case so now let me select random forest classifier first case and give predict so now you can see the predicted result is 
it is a case of stroke so the prediction is stroke and uh, here you can see the model the random forest classifier model which i have selected and the predicted result is stroke so so let me show you the same case with um, other model so let me enter the same data here as uh, male uh, under age of 68 hypertension as one so here one uh, hypertension one means the, the person has the hypertension uh, if it is zero if it does not has hypertension so that is the meaning of that is available in the data set so heart disease is one and you have a married as s and work type as private and residence of rural and average glucose type is 271.74 bmi values 31.1 and uh, smoking status is smoke so this is the data that i have given earlier for the model random forest class so i'm going to select the bagging classifier this time and click predict so now you can see the prediction type is taken as the model bugging classifier and the predicted result is stroke. This, uh, it has given the same result for both because the accuracy is almost the same for both the things that is uh, 199 and here is 99 and 98. So only one percentage is different and for us is giving the good result for it. And so that uh, it may give the same result only maximum. So now let me show you with the other case with the gender female uh, age of 60 hypertension zero heart disease zero ever married as work type private and resident type urban and average glucose level as 65.78 bmi value as 27.5 and smoking status is unknown place this one a model let me show you with the random forest itself and click predict and now you can see the predicted result with the random forest classifier is no stroke this case has no stroke and now let me show you with the other case with the gender male and 59 age of 59 hypertension zero heart disease zero ever married as and uh, work type private resident type urban glucose level is 200 200.62 and bmi value is 35.8 formerly smoked and model is random for us classifier let us check the result for this case and let me click the print button and now you can see the predicted result is stroke for the model that is selected random for us classifier and finally i show you with the case of male and age of 56 hypertension is zero heart disease is zero uh, ever married as no and the work type is private and uh, resident type is rural average glucose level as 62.6 and bmi is 33.9 and uh, smoking status has never smoked and let me select the model as random forest classifier itself and click the predict button and now you can see the predicted result is no stroke on the model that i selected as random forest classifier that is being shown here so in this way you can check with the other cases there are uh, more data available in the test and the train data so if i'm going to show you all the cases it takes more time the video length will be more so let me move to the next part to the performance analysis part so in the performance analysis part we'll be having the performance analysis parameter called recall value precision value f1 score so this performance analysis parameter will be given for both the model that is random forest classifier also and for the bagging classifier also so first let me show you with the first model that is random forest class the performance analysis for the, the random forest classifier is this one and second comes the confusion matrix of the random forest classifier so here you can see the true and the predicted label for the the random forest classifier and next comes the performance analysis for the bagging classifier which contains the recall precision f1 score of it and you can see the confusion matrix of the bagging classifier and uh, and kindly note that this uh, performance analysis and chart part both are static only it is not dynamic as mentioned here we are not going to store any data in the database so it is going to be depicted from the code that we have developed up in the model that we have developed in the back end so now let come let me go to the next part that is the chart part just click this chart menu it will be navigated to the chart part where you can see the accuracy comparison with the random forest model and bagging classifier which we have implemented so here you can see the random forest classifier has accuracy of 99 percentage and bagging classifier has accuracy of 98 percentage so moreover they're equally but random forest performed well 
uh, compared to the bagging classifier so that has been depicted here uh, next chart contains about the data set that we have been trained up the model so this data set contains 70 percentage of normal data and 30 percentage of the brain stroke data that is being depicted here as mentioned this is a static uh, chart only it is not binary because it is being depicted from the data set that we have been trained up with and uh, let me log out from this part and this is all about the project a machine learning model to predict a diagnosis of brain stroke using python and thank you for watching